to Mary Bowster, Joint General Secretary of the National Education Union. That's the UK's largest education union. Thanks very much for joining us this Hello. morning. Um, what is your reaction to the results that we are getting in? Do you think they are perhaps the best effort that could have been reached given the complications in recent weeks? Um, I Well, first of all, I want to congratulate all the students who are getting A-level results today and vocational qualifications. They are the uh, victims of a process which uh, has gone wrong really from the start, but particularly wrong at the last minute. And uh, I do hope that universities fulfil their pledge to be generous, to be reasonable and to understand that these um, students are, have lived through a pandemic and were not able to take the exams through no fault of their own and then have had the whole process upended at the last minute. And I think um, the danger is that the uh, confidence in our qualification system has been badly dented because of uh, government inaction and then reaction at the last minute, too little, too late. Uh, we heard, though, from the, the head teacher who was speaking a moment ago, uh, just in the last hour, uh, that some of her students haven't been given any flexibility by universities, despite having their grades yeah. lower than expected. And I'm seeing that all over the place. I'm seeing that on Facebook and I'm seeing that on Twitter. And I think it's... Uh, the problem is that universities are receiving um, more applications because the jobs market is so poor for 18-year-olds and because the number of apprentices that are being offered by employers in these times has, has diminished, has decreased. So universities are, are getting more applicants and um, courses are filling up. And of course, the end result of that is that students who have seen their A-level grades go down by one grade, at least, you know, 40% down by one grade or by two grades, are finding that the grounds for appeal change at the last minute um, and, and are not getting the places that they want. And as that head teacher said, learning next week about how you can appeal on the basis of mock exams is too late. Those places are filling up now. Who, do, do, you, think who that... do you blame for this mess? Is, is it directly to be laid at the door of Gavin Williamson? I think it is, I'm afraid. Um, Gavin Williamson uh, uh, has Ofpol, who's the independent rec regulator, meant to be independent. Gavin Williamson should have been all over the statistical model, which, whilst it may work OK at a national level, there's huge volatility at individual school and college level. Uh, you know, I've, I'm getting um, uh, this morning a phone call from the head teacher of a top grammar school who says he simply does not understand the results, even in connection with results in the same subjects one and two years ago. The, so the model is hugely volatile at school level. And that means there are individual tragedies where students and schools are going to find it difficult to um, appeal because who knows what a valid mock exam is yet? Ofqual haven't told us. And that's because Gavin Williamson panicked at the last minute and changed his mind. Now, this is no way to run a qualification system which absolutely has to, uh, to be built on confidence and a clarity about process, a clarity about how grades are awarded and a clarity about the outcomes. And I'm afraid today's process has none of those requirements. So should Gavin Williamson change his mind again, perhaps, and follow the Scottish example and go with teacher estimates? I'm afraid... You see, there is a problem with teacher estimates because um, the, the process we have doesn't allow them to be moderated. But given where we are now, that is the least worst option. Given where we are now, the idea that you can validate a mock exam, which is taken perhaps in November, perhaps in March, even taken differently within different subjects within the school, how are you going to validate the conditions under which that exam was taken and the grade given by that exam is anybody's guess. So given where we are now, even with all the problems that just using unmoderated teacher grades have, that is the best option now. The, the only problem with that is, of, of course, that Mr Williamson has written it in the Telegraph uh, today, uh, saying that if you get grade inflation, uh, that means that, you know, this year's students, their education, their prospects are, you know, invalid, not invalidated, but they lose out because the, the, you know, the, the levels obviously all go up unfairly, both which affects previous year's students too. Well, you should have thought of that five months ago. And, um, you know, the fact is we are where we are now. Clearly, the volatility in the system shows that the grades delivered by an algorithm can't be substantiated. Two, tw less than two days ago, Gavin Williamson acknowledged that and said, let's do the grades on mock exams. We know that mock exams are no basis 
on which to allocate grades. So what's left to us? What is left to us is to accept that these students are living through a pandemic. They couldn't take the exams through no fault of their own. And the best option we now have left to us, because the government left it so late, is teacher assessed grades. It's not an outcome that we would recommend, but it's where we are now. What, what about the option, though, uh, again, Ms Williamson has pointed out today that, they, that students can, if they're unhappy, take the exams again in the autumn. Now, obviously, they haven't had lessons for months. They've probably not been revising no. necessarily. Um, but, you know, can that be made to work given, you know, COVID restrictions? Well, I think it's really difficult with given COVID restrictions for that to happen. As you say, they haven't been taught. So, you know, schools work very hard to prepare students for exams that, you know, many of them won't be have been receive, receiving teaching for months before that. And that affects differentially upon different students. And also... So, so, um, could, so just briefly, could it's they too have... Late. It's too late for students. I mean, they want to start their courses in September. The idea that they can start their courses in January, I think is deeply problematic. They lose out on socialisation. It's very difficult for universities to offer two points of entry. I think that's hugely problematic. Just very quickly, if they do sit exams in the autumn, though, should they be the regular A-levels or should they be something different because they because they've lost out in in so much learning recently well that's another absolutely key question i mean what sort of exam can properly compensate for what they've lost out i, I just think this is a mess and i think this should have been sorted out when gavin williamson uh, knew of the pandemic and knew of the cancelling of exams it was a decision he made he should have been all over this he should have been looking at statistical model he should have been looking at school volatility uh, i've had it today from the head of a grammar school saying the results don't make sense i've had the head of a secondary modern school saying the results don't make sense in connection with previous years the previous two years and the grades there um, it seems to me that this is just a mess and the best way out of it now is to accept teacher assessed grades. And is he in the right uh, job, Mr Williamson? Is he the right man for the right job right now? That's for Boris Johnson, but this is not his finest hour, is it? OK. Dr Mary Bastard, uh, General Secretary of the uh, National Education Union, many